Australian event of the 2015 World Surf League Longboard Qualifying Series once again saw the best local and international surfers converge on Kingscliff Beach in northern New South Wales. It would be the first chance for local fans to see 2014 world champion Harley Ingleby in action since his win in October at China's Ryu Bay Point on Henan Island. Heat 1 of Round 1 saw William Crow up against Liam Griggs Kennelly. It was William Crow with a lovely cutback, edging out Griggs Kennelly's cross-step switch. In Heat 2 of Round 1, TZ from China faced Australia's Alexander Burns. TZ's choice of waves wasn't able to secure him high scoring points, but he did manage some nice turns on a nice looking wave. Alexander Burns hit back with a big drop in on a lovely looking wave, securing his place in the second round of the Australian Longboard Surfing Open. Heat 1 of Round 2 saw young gun Jack Entwistle face Shane Morton. Entwistle used his ability to get to the nose and a good vertical lip bounce to secure a decent score. But it was Shane Morton roller coasting on the backhand and adding a few big moves to edge his way into Round 3. The second heat of round two saw Ruben Roxburgh face Jared Neal. On Roxburgh's best way, he managed to hit the lip and get his way to the nose. Jared Neal returned fire, sneaking in a wave right on the buzzer. His nose ride though wasn't enough to progress to round three. Heat 3 of round 2 saw Jacob Evans face Ben Johnson. Evans used momentum to pull off a big roller coaster and earning big points from the judges. Johnson hit back with a gauging cutback and able to hit the lip but not enough points to get through to the next round. Heat 4 of round 2 saw current world champion Harley Ingleby face William Crow. Harley's first wave saw him get to the nose quite quickly and then a nice nose tap. A floater at the end saw Harley destroying a one foot wave. His second wave had a little bit more size. Harley was able to get to the nose, look at the inside section, and then slam the whitewash. William Crow was always going to be chasing big points, but he did his best to catch the world champ. His second wave was right on the buzzer and some big turns saw the world champ looking a little bit worried. But unfortunate for William, it wasn't enough to progress to the next round. Heat 5 saw Alexander Burns face USA champ Taylor Jensen. Burns dropped into the face and rebound with a nice snap at the end. But it was the big 6 foot 5 giant from the USA with a 510 combo tap and a big hack at the end.
Pete Six saw Kyle Teal against Matt Kay. Teal, using good directional turns, earned himself high points from the judges. Kay fought back with a bouncing wave. He shuffled to find speed, saw him score a nice nose tap, but the wave ran out on him and so did his luck. Heat 7 of round 2 saw the skill of Dane Pioli face the experience of Michael Cotio. Pioli's 360 move on his first wave set the task for Cotio. Pioli's second wave saw a lovely nose ride, creating a big score combo for Cotio to chase down. With Cotier riding a traditional single fin model, it was always going to be fun for Cotier on this wave. Dancing around and flicking the tail up, pulling off a twirly bird, and having some fun. French champ Edward Del Perro saw his way into Heat 8. His first wave with a lovely nose ride. And his second wave off the top and pulling off a roundhouse cutback. His heat rival, Nick Jones, had to secure some big points from the judges. He managed to get straight up to the 5-10 combo, bouncing off the foam and finishing up with a cutback. But unfortunately for Jones, he wouldn't be featuring in round three. As round three got underway, the rain started to fall. Shane Morton faced Ruben Roxburgh in heat one, with Morton managing a hang five and a nice long wave. But it would be Ruben Roxburgh progressing, with his two waves seeing him secure two little barrels and the points on the board that mattered. Heat 2 of round 3 saw Jacob Evans unfortunately up against Harley Ingleby. Evans showed his ability, but it would be Ingleby once again claiming the win. Ingleby moving from a nose ride to a little barrel tuck and a foam tap to finish off. Heat 3 saw Kyle Teal with the difficult challenge of beating Taylor Jensen. Teal looking good in the opening exchanges, but he caught the rail and became unstuck. It was smooth sailing for Jensen, managing to get straight to the nose for a 5-10 combo and earning his place in the next round. Round 4 of Heat 4 saw Dane Pioli up against Edward Del Perro from France. 
Pioli's fade wiggle with a nose ride, and then a five to the nose again, earned him great points. But it would be Edward throwing everything at it, securing his place in the semi-finals. Semi-final one saw Harley Ingleby against Ruben Roxburgh. It was Harley Ingleby with a beautiful cutback and a nose ride, scoring the points that would make Ruben Roxburgh quite anxious in the semi-final. But Ruben was able to get to the nose, getting some speed into the section, hitting the lip and making the most out of the wave. Harley's next best wave saw him selecting a nice wave and getting straight to the nose. Off the top, Harley got some great speed and managed a nice move off the lip. With Roxburgh chasing the points, he elected for a nice bottom turn and getting straight to the nose. But unfortunate for Roxburgh, he too became unstuck and it would be Harley Ingleby progressing to the final. Yeah, it's um, yeah, really stoked to get through that and into the finals. Uh, tomorrow, hopefully, um, we we'll have a little bit of tide or a little bit more swell tomorrow. It's pretty tough out there. Um, yeah, yeah stoked to get in the final. The second semi final was an international affair with Edward Dupera from France facing Taylor Jensen from the USA. Ed managed to get straight to the lip and gliding through the inside section with a beautiful floater at the end. Taylor Jensen refer returned fire, getting straight to the nose, dropping around and swooping action off the top with a nice finish. The second waves for both gentlemen saw 5-10 combos, with Edward managing a 5-10 stall which was well controlled and a nice little re-entry on half foot of water. But it'd be the reigning champion, Taylor Jensen, dropping down the face of the wave and some nice big top turns, securing his place in the final against Harley Ingleby. Well, I feel pretty good. We had a, the best way so far in the heat. So. I had a good time contest here. Just, uh, the atmosphere is fun, really fun. Good mood, good people. Like I enjoyed it, and I'm still going in, in the logger division. So I had some more stuff today, today, so it's gonna be cool. Well, as good as it could go today, I guess. I mean, it kind of comes down to who gets that set wave. And yeah, I got lucky and got two pretty good waves. So got the scores and, and three to the final. So it'll be good, good to surf with Harley again. Like, I think we were together last year in the final. Just got him, and I think the year before he got me in the final, so that'll be fun. The final saw Harley Ingleby taking the opportunity for a wave just before the 10 minute restart mark. With the event organizers and judges worried, Harley took it upon himself to get the final started. But with Harley giving priority to Taylor, it would be Jensen gliding on his wave, powering off the small wave to a toe tap, chasing a 5.5 second.
Taylor sitting further south down the beach. He was able to swoop on this play, getting to the 10, and then following it up with a 5-10 combo, bouncing off the phone with a button knob, and getting the second score on the board. Final progressed, the crowd was well aware that it was going to be Taylor's day. His third wave seeing another nose run. The three back to back waves put plenty of pressure on Harley Ingleby. And with 10 seconds remaining, Harley had one last throw of the dice, choosing this wave to secure his second and only two waves of this final. Ingleby showing his skill with a lovely cutback reverse and another directional change. But once again, in 2015, it would be that man from the USA, Taylor Jensen, taking out the Victor's Shield. No ways. <laughs> no, nah, mate. Said to Sean yesterday, he shouldn't have put us on the low tide, but he yeah. put us on the low tide and there was no waves, but yeah, that's competition. <laughs> And what did you think of Taylor out there? Oh yeah, he's so solid. Surfed, surfed those waves really well. You know, I think he had the best waves as well, so deserves the win for sure. And where to next for you now, mate? Um, just back home. Back home and um, just do some coaching at surf school for Easter holidays. And um, yeah, I guess off to WA for the Wild Bones in July. <laughs>